Hey guys, Young Pretty Mom back with another stash pattern video. I hope you guys are enjoying these and you're getting some ideas of what is possibly out there, what you can do, um, and get some ideas. Um, yeah, what you what you might be able to create in our stitching world. All right, so um, I'm gonna do some. Jeanette Cruz Designs Incorporated Minis, and then I'm going to do a set of Pegasus Publications, um, which I really, really like those. Okay, so the first one we've got is called 20 Weekend Projects, TGIF. Thank goodness it's Friday, number 207. This is called Baby's Day Out. It shows you, um, we've got booties and bibs and um, coverall bibs and t-shirts and yeah fingertip towels and these designs are just really adorable um, you've got the little bee bears and then a bear on a rocking horse um, there's a little lamb and an elephant and you know cute little polka dots and you could put those on, um, on those little mini bibs those little burping bibs and then um, little booties and then there's a Oh, I did that design, but I didn't get it from here. I got it from something else. I did this on a, um, they make little hoodie bath towels. And I did that on a, um, it was a little cover on a, that's the design I did. And I added some things around it, but I gave that as a baby shower gift. Oh, that's cool. Well, this is not the only place that they have that design because, like I said, I, I did that design, but I got it from something else. Well, it's pretty cool. All right, learn something new. Um, the next one is called another TJF. It's number 210, Little Squirts. 16 weekend projects. And these are for either hand gels, hand soaps, um, lotions. And what you do is you take the plastic canvas um, or you can take um, whatever count whether and I would recommend eight on these, um, either a 14 or an 18 count, and after you stitch it, you want to um, soak it in fabric stiffener um, because it's never going to be touched again. It's going to be completely encased, and you put them inside these clear. There's a space in between on the cylinder, um, and that's how I do my my mugs on these are the same way but they usually come with a blank plastic canvas um, the mugs that I get are for coloring so the ones that I have I have to measure out with the paper that comes with it um, and you want to make it a little bit bigger but anyway you just slide it down in there after you've stitched it and you've got something permanent to look at people can admire your work when they come to use your restroom or they're at your kitchen sink um, you can put liquid soap in it to wash your dishes and the water does not get in there that's why I recommend um, the plastic canvas because in case it ever does leak um, not everything is foolproof so but like there's a sundae and some blueberries and some vegetables and there's a little heart strawberries and it's like a baby's room but lotion um, and a little beehive but Ursula Michael um, by Ursula Michael. But those are nice. I like those. And now we have the One Nighters. It's the 51st in the series. This is 50 Baby Booties. Number 451. Um, and it's just a bunch of little tiny, little teeny tiny, itty bitty. Yeah, and then got them facing each other down here again at Jeanette Cruz Designs. Um, it does not say who the artist is. I got that really, really dirt cheap. Um, and there is an alphabet, an alphabet pattern in there. That's nice. All right, so there's that. Next, we're coming up with the, um, we're going to start the Pegasus publications. I already showed you one in the other videos um, from I'm doing the Seascapes. And this one is called Encore. It's a treasury of classic cross-stitch, wild, exotic, and legendary. 
Um, we've got a woodpecker and a flamingo, and there's a bunch of flamingos on a bag. Um, is that a cheetah? No. Leopard? No. Cheetah. It's a cat. It's a really big cat. <laughs> Alright, then we've got the toucans and an orchid. And there's your leopard. A leopard or a cheetah? Hmm. See, I don't know my cats. Anyway, there's 32 designs in this book. I got it for a steal. Um, it says $9.95, but I think I paid maybe $2 for it. Uh, Hobby Lobby had a whole bunch of their pattern books that they were getting rid of. They were just destashing everything. Um, I want to say maybe six or seven years ago, and I taught my husband how to cross stitch. He's, um, well, my soon-to-be ex-husband, he, he's a um, he's truck driver on the road, and that's what he does to relax. Um, but anyway, so we went and just went hog wild and got all these great patterns. Um, kind of, we actually fought over who was going to get what when we split up, so <laughs> uh, I won. But anyway, <laughs> um, that looks like uh, some type of uh, exotic bird, or, and well, there's a dragon, So and they go hand in hand, so I'm going to guess it's probably in the mythical world. Um, then we have a little blue jay. That's a leopard. Yes. Um, look like maybe some cranes? No. Um, I'm not... I can't decide. Those aren't cranes. Those are maybe... I don't know. Anyway, some birds flying over the ocean. Another really pretty orchid. Um, and then... I can't remember the name of that type of flower. Uh, maybe it's got it on the inside. I don't know. Um, but I know... Oh, again with the hands. Uh, I'm sorry, my hands don't want to work today. Um, oh, we've got, some, yeah. we've got Wild, Exotic, and Legendary from the Pegasus Originals. Alright, we've got some Mallard Ducks. Oh, and I knew that one. See? There's some more ducks. And then there's a Red Cardinal in a snow scene with some little, it looks like chickadees, maybe. Um, there's a Unicorn. And there's another Unicorn and a Pegasus. And you really can't the colors on that pillow are very, very light, so you really can't, you really can't see those too well. Okay, and I've got in the back, oh, sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed, as you know, and not very, <laughs> sorry, not very coordinated at that. Uh, we've got, a, oh, it's not focusing now. Uh, we've got a few little dinosaurs um, on a hat and a bib and a shirt. Um, there's another fish, and then another fish with some coral, and some more exotic orchids, um, and there's, um, a flamingo, and then again, there's, there's one of those mugs. Mine don't have the, mine have a white rim, I don't have any with the green rim, but that's cool for a kid, right? Little dinosaurs. But anyway, um, yeah, there's quite a few really cool patterns on that one, I like that one. 32 designs. Alright, the other one is called Marty Bell's English Countryside 1, North Coat Lane, leaflet number 321, um, an adaptation by Mildred Hinnat Hedgepath, H-I-N-N-A-N-T. Um, I don't know if I care for this one. It's kind of, kind of mismatched. Yeah. Oh, sorry, my fingers wanting to shake. Um, okay, so that, yeah, North Coat Lane. That's all there is with that one. Next we have Marty Bell's Lovebird's Cottage. Um, a lot of adaptation by Melissa Dane Garrison, Jeanette Cruz Designs. Um... This is number 620446. Again, I got a really great deal on this one. It is, again, in the Pegasus publications, but a lot of detail on this one. And the cottage. Now we have Marty Bell's Patricia's Porch. Another Pegasus collection. Jeanette Cruz Designs. Adaptation by Cheryl Corley. 
Um, I like this one. This one I, I can really get into. I like this one. It shows the front porch. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a design like this. I like it. Um, it looks like it might have been taken from a painting. Oh, that one I really like. Um, that was number 630450. Again, Marty Bells. This is called the Rose Bower Cottage. Number 620447. Again, the Pegasus Publications. Jeanette Cruz Designs. Uh, adaptation by Mildred Hennett Hedgepath. Designs included in the book Cottage Roses, Bower Roses, Rose Bower Cottage. So, you can see the, the vines growing up and the thatch over the top of the roof and a lot of, a lot of detail on that one. A um, little bit of backstitch going up the vines. But there's that one. Oh, now on the back it shows quite a few. The other ones didn't do that. Um, some of the other designs that you can get. Mostly cottages with them. Alright, last Marty Bells called the Abbey. Now this one, this one's my favorite. Um, I really like this one. I think I've seen someone stitching this, but I can't remember. It's number 620448. Um, ad adaptation by Mildred Hennett Hedgepath, and I'm, I apologize if I'm saying her middle name wrong, but Janet Cruz Designs, again, a Pegasus publication. Uh, again, this is Marty Bell's The Abbey. I like this one. I really like this one. Um, those are the kind of houses that you want to go explore. Um, and I like looking at this. It's like a mystery house. It's really cool. There's little birds in the sky. It's like you go in there when you're a kid, and you see... Um, little nooks and crannies and I, I like to think there's like little hidden cubbies that you can sneak through and, and poke through and look in and little uh, secret doorways and tunnels underneath the house and just little yeah very mysterious I really like this one alright so that's all of that one that I've got for you today uh, we'll be back with the Stony Creek collection that I have in my next video clip. Thank you for watching. Um, all my subscribers, thank you so much for your loyalty. All my new subscribers, welcome. Um, I hope I'm not boring. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going, I, of course I do many different types of videos. The majority of them are stitch related. But, um, appreciate everybody. Um, if you like my video give me a thumbs up it will really greatly help me out um, and we will see you in the next go around take a look at my Ellie belly cat peace out Doing. Yeah. Oh. I'm playing my little pony. What you got in your mouth? What are you doing? What are you doing now? I see.
What? Yep, so does Ellie. She plays all silly and stuff, and then as soon as I turn this on, she stops. She knows. How smart is that? <laughs>